Okay, when using selection tools, it is possible to combine the selection tools, uh, and it's also possible to add and subtract from the selection tools. So let me give you a quick little example. I use the rectangular marquee tool. I'll use it on the left side here, and I make a little selection. If I were to try to make another selection, you'll notice the first one disappears. But if I wanted to combine them, it's possible to do that. If I were to hit the shift key, you'll notice a little plus appears by the cursor. And when I do that, it allows me to add to the selection. Alrighty, I'm going to reverse that for a moment. When I did that, I don't know if you notice, but when you press the shift key, up above at the top on the control bar, you'll see the square goes from the single new selection to add to selection. That would be up here. So here we see new selection. To the right of that is add to selection. When I hit the shift key, that happens. So another way to do it is simply to click on that and then add to your selection. But when you do that, remember it's going to stay on. Okay, so you can keep adding to it if that's your intention. But if you want to go back to new selection, you need to do that. The other option is to subtract from a selection. If I were to hit the third spot to subtract from selection, I can do this and subtract the piece. I could also do it in the center. And if I wanted to do it using the key commands, which is how I prefer to do things, I would hit the option key and I can subtract, as you see right there. So that's how you add and subtract from a selection. It's going to work the same with all of these selection tools, the elliptical, rectangular, the single rows, with the lasso, the polygonal lasso, the magnetic lasso, and with the quick select and with the magic wand. So you're going to enjoy being able to make selections. It gives you great power.